Welcome to another community conversation. Today, we're here to talk about the Educause Awards Program with two of our sponsors. Uh, Moran Technology Consulting has sponsored our program, and we're here today with the leadership of Moran with Charlie Moran and Paul Giebel. Welcome. I was curious uh, if you can remember, when did you start sponsoring the awards program and, and what led you to <laughs> <laughs> Memory is not an easy thing these days. Uh, yeah, I, I, maybe Paul remembers. It, it's been it's been over ten years. It's been a long time, and uh, you know we've been part of Educause for eighteen years. And before that, with another company, we got them into Educause. So we've been around a long time. And when the opportunity came up to be a sponsor of the uh, award stuff, it was a great you know, great thing. Let's let's go do this. It was, and it's been very fun ever since and wonderful. When you think about uh, the awards um, over the 10 years you've been sponsoring um, the awards program, have you seen the, I don't know how to say it, the, the characteristics of the award winners change over time? Have, I mean, we talk about how what it takes to be a leader in, in, in our world has changed, that new capacities are needed, but I'm curious if you've, if you've seen that as well, just from the lens of the awards. Especially at the Rising Star Award, I think we're seeing a, a much uh, different uh, type of uh, characteristics associated with the Rising Stars. I and, and I think with, with all the leadership awards, I think there's a, an aspirational aspect of this whole thing, right? Where uh, uh, you see award winners up there from year to year and you're able to look at, wow, different people are doing different things and maybe there's some some opportunities on our campus or on my own campus to do something different. So I think some of the things that uh, uh, that each of the, 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 the award winners are doing is, is continues to be enhanced, I think, as, as we move along. I've, I've heard this about the awards more than once that that somebody out in the audience tells me that they hear the award winners talk about what they're passionate about, and they say, "That's me. <laughs> that, 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 that's <laughs> right. I'm that too." And they start to see, uh, uh, have a chance to see their own leadership, get recognized and celebrate their own leadership. I mean, I, I almost always at the reception we have, where we always recognize the award winners. I always say, you know, the first thing each one of the award winners says is, "But there are so many other people." <laughs> you know, they recognize that that they're accepting the award kind of as, you know, for all the other people <laughs> that are doing really great work. With everything that's changing, do you think that the, what we're going to need in leaders in our, in our community is going to change dramatically over the next few years or has it already changed? Yeah, well, I think whether they wanted to or not, it's already changed. Um, I also think that um, you're gonna see a lot, need for people a lot more flexible uh, to do things where the workers are working, are they on campus, are they remote, um, some of those things, but also getting much more involved with the academic and teaching side that sometimes there was always kind of, well, there's those people and there's us. And nothing nothing these days with COVID and stuff is being done without the delivery through technology and keeping up reliable services and getting good vendors. And I think that's, different than 20 years ago where, you know, who had done the best custom coding portal for somebody, right? The need has changed and the need to really be seen by the institution as a technology leader, visionary, uh, zealot, um, to try to help, you know, invest in the right places, not waste money in the wrong places and to keep things moving along because there's no going back. I mean, the faculty, you know, we all know everybody said, well, everybody used the learning management system. Most schools did not have heavy penetration of faculty actually doing anything in it. There's very few, few schools now that don't have 95 to 100 percent of their faculty deep into using the learning, learning management system, trying off new things. And that just pushes the need to understand and to help better. And I think as we're growing these things, having people of more of a diverse background really helps them understand what's going on out there and being able to sit down and say, you know, hey, how's it going? What can we do to help?